everyone, welcome to another episode of Randy Prizzle's Lincoln Ting with me, Randy Prizzle. How are you lot doing out there? Hope you're all good, everything's going okay, everything iry, crispy, all of that, great. Obviously, if you missed previous episodes of Randy Prizzle's Lincoln Ting, check out, obviously, below on the Randy Prizzle channel. Go and check out the former episodes. If you're feeling them, put a like on them, subscribe, share, comment, like, all of those, and all of that above and below. Cool. And if obviously you're feeling this episode too, by the end of it, you know what to do. All of that below and comment, like, share to your friends and tell them all about Randy Prizzle and how much of a chaotic madman he is. But let's go. Let's get onto this. I don't know what that was. Let's go. Let's, let's cross to let's go and call. Let's go. We'll stick with that for now. Let's go. All right. Rebecca. Typical Sunday, she says. Netflix or a picnic? I mean, all good with that one. Obviously, it's Sunday today, so I uh, would like to probably say a picnic, but it's really dark outside now. Obviously, shooting this now around 7.49 p.m., so it's, it's getting dark now. Uh, still a bit light out there, so sometimes a bit, you know, they can't tell the full picture, but I can see it's getting darker out there. But yeah, would, wouldn't mind going on a picnic. Um, obviously, when it's lighter outside, but it's a bit brighter. Maybe next week. We could talk about that next week, Rebecca, so... Uh, that could be cool. Netflix, obviously, you know, I'm deep into the Netflix, saw balls deep in that, so you know what I mean. Netflix right up me alley, come down there, show you down, obviously, all the programs, watching, watch them together, sit and chill with a glass of wine, probably some good food too. You can call me daddy at the end of the night. I don't know, I'm joking, I'm joking. That's, that, that's a bad joke. That's, don't watch that. That's bad. That's awful. But, anyways, let's get more into what she's saying. She's 27, she's 5'11. She's a hotel coordinator. She's a bit too tall, but let's get on to a bit more of what she's saying. We'll get along if you're kind, motivated, funny, into film, and not taking life too seriously. I think kind, well, you know, it depends. I'm not going to say I'm 100% kind. Like, yeah, can have my moments. I'm saying motivated, you know, at times, not every time. Listen, you'd get days when you just don't want to do anything. Sometimes, especially during the pandemic, it got a bit peak. I'm not going to lie there. And then most times I really didn't want to do much. But funny, I don't know. It just depends what people think. I'm not going to really try and toot my own horn. I personally think I'm all right. I don't think I'm funny every day of the week. I can't be. Otherwise, you're just crazy, literally insane uh into film yeah obviously i like going to the cinema watching movies and all that so yeah man that's that's right up my alley not taking life too seriously yeah i don't really i like to have a joke and a laugh and you know um love to make things up and sing music on the spot you know music makes me feel like come together yeah music it's a party and the rebels, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, that's me. Generally, that's just you know, it's what I do. Don't ask me why. It's just what I do. Anyways, let's get on to more. What she's saying. The secret to get to know me is ask me anything. X. Okay, so um, I don't know really what to ask. It's kind of put me a bit on the spot there. Like ask you anything. I don't if it's in the something inappropriate, would she accept that? Do you know what I mean? Because if you ask her anything, would she be able to dig that? Do you know what I mean? Can she dig it, sucker? Anyways, yeah, let's stop all that. But cool. Yeah, above all, she seems like a nice, cool chick. I thought she's probably a bit too tall for me. Do you know what I mean? Right, my head would probably reach top of her boots, so it's a bit, it's a bit peaked there. So it's going to be a no for me. Alright, Ross. Ross is 33. She's a uh, 5'5. Five, five. Uh, she lives in London town. And that's what it says about Ross. There's not really much in the pictures department or anything. So I, I can't really, there's not much to go on there. So 44 Ross. Well, it's not 40, it's just going to be now. Let's move on to the next person, Kaylee. Kaylee saying, best travel story broke four out of five toes white water rafting down the Zambezi River. Ended up on a safari booze cruise. Finished the night in a nightclub in the city. I think I might have come across this girl before. I mean, but the, the five toes thing, that, well, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that she managed to still go out to a nightclub and night, like, it's cool. But I do think I've come across that before because I've, I've seen that previously beforehand. So we're just going to move on. I think I probably, whatever I said to her, you know, just move on. 
Floor. Her name is actually Floor. <laughs> it's not F L O O R. It's F L O R. It's like Floor. It, it, it's weird. But anyways, whatever. Okay. She says, I'm the type of texter who uses enter a lot. I'm really sorry. I mean, I, I can do enter sometimes. I like to put dots sometimes after my text. So sometimes after I set a sentence, I'd put a couple of dots like after, and then I start the next thing I'm going to say. Some people might find that irritating, but I just I, that's something I've gotten used to do. Obviously, I know if I'm sending an email to someone fresh, I'm not going to do it. Do you know what I mean? Come on. Really, that's common sense there. But you know, what I mean, when it's to friends or peoples, you know, in group chats or whatever, yes, dot dot, and then the next thing down the line, they'll like it. And go away. Do you know, what I, mean? I was going to say a bad word there. YouTube probably locked me off for that one, but you know, peas pee off, and that's all I got to say. But yeah. Anyway, let's move on. It's twenty-seven five four product designer. Um, shower thought I had. A shower thought I recently had, she says, maybe Mamma Mia is the greatest film of all time, but you're not ready to accept it yet. No, it's not. And that's all I've got to say there. It's not the best film of all time. Stop talking waffle. Do you know what I mean? These people are into their song and dance ting. Listen, I don't mind the song and dance ting, you know, like the La La Lands and all of that. Yeah, that's fine. But don't start saying it's the best thing of all time. It's not. Do you know what I mean? Get your thinking cap on. Like, I've got my cap on. Big up. You know, R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman, big up Black Panther. You know what I mean? So don't start saying it's all all that when it isn't. You know, wrong place, wrong time. Not ready to accept it. You're not ready to accept the reality we live in right now, where music of song and dance is not up there with some of the greatest action movies of all time. And if you're talking about stuff like Die Hard, then it doesn't even compare to Die Hard. Talking about stuff like Lord of the Rings, it doesn't even compare to Lord of the Rings. It's a poor man's effort. That's all i got to say there. Yes, it probably might be in a good curry for your song and dances, your glees and all that, but it doesn't compare to none of them classic movies, a thriller and, and anything along them lines. Just get out of there with that rubbish. Wipe that to the side. Dust it out the window. But anyways, let's move on to the next thing she's saying. I recently discovered that I actually don't want to stay inside forever. None of us do. Do you know what I mean? But unfortunately, we have to. Yeah, in a way, she's kind of getting a bit on my nerves. You know what I mean? I'm having to feel like I have to challenge anything Floor says. So you know what? I probably might want to drop this to the floor and say no. So let's move on because I haven't got time for this. Someone's getting me worked up. No point, no time. Probably going to start, you know, disagreeing with things. Probably having an argument down the line if we ever meet up. So there's no time for Floor. Leave that on the floor. Let's move forward. Valley. <laughs> that's another name that's quite complicated there. Valley. Uh, but it's actually V-A-L-E-E. -E. It's not like valley, like in the valley of a river or something. But anyways, let's move on to what she's saying. I'm overly competitive about everything. I'm a sore loser. So I've come across this girl before. Probably have in some ways. But I've, I've seen this girl around somewhere. But I'm not going to bait her up, but I've seen her around somewhere. But, you know, let's just get on to what she's saying. Give me travel tips for Japan. Now, Japan's a nice place to go to. I'd like to visit Japan. Looks cool. Looks nice. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or go there, experience the culture and everything. So yeah, it could be cool. Simple pleasures. Your order has shipped emails on the same day I made the purchase. Uh, that's, that's, that's cool. I mean, you always want to know when you, your purchases are coming. And that's a nice trait when they do send you those emails sometimes. You can raise your, your spirits a bit. Oh, my product is going to come early. Fantastic. It's going to arrive on time. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's going to be exciting. You're already, you know, in a funk or in a great mood. Especially if the item you want is going to be something you're going to treasure. And you're really feeling it and looking forward to that item. So yes, that's good, 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 simple pleasures to have. I mean, mine probably would just be just eating food. It's just my simple pleasure. Nothing long, nothing complicated. Chicken, that's probably one of my, my simple pleasures. Just eating chicken. That gets me happy, gets me in the mood. Yeah, he gets me feeling myself sometimes, not, not feeling myself like that, but feeling myself in terms of why I start to big up the chest, feel like I'm grown in some sort of, you know, manner in sort of a couple of inches or something when I'm really only still five foot four, whatever. Apart from all that, Valley, I'm not really feeling Valley, don't want to really go down there, Valley, so it's a no for me. Come to Elish. Elish is saying, a life goal of mine, to try lots of tequila in Mexico. I mean, that's cool, I mean, tequila, drinking tequila, cool, yeah, seems fine. Get on to more what she's saying, she's 26, she's 5'8", 
which comes from London Town, see it right here in London, London, London Town. I get along best with people who laugh or make me laugh all the time. I mean, listen, I, I could try my best, but I'm not going to promise anything on a regular occurrence. You know I, mean? I can't be a performing clown, but we'll see what, what goes on. First round is on me if you're down for a pub quiz. I mean, listen, pub quiz is not really my strongest point. I'm not going to lie to you, you know what I mean? I've done it before and I failed. Did it before, I wouldn't do it again, so let's just go. Apart from all that, English is not really theme me. English doesn't really tick my boxes, so. And it doesn't have that je ne sais quoi for me, so it's going to be enough. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, I mean, I had to, I'm going to block that out. Really? Anyways, let's move on. Ifioma says, Fact about me that surprises people, I don't like plantain. Hmm? What? No way. Are you telling me you don't like plantain? Oh, come on. No, that's, that's not right. Someone who says that, really. It's jarring, man. That someone says to me, like, literally tell me they don't like plantain. I mean, the sweetness, the, the taste. How do you not like plantain? People don't like things that are his question I guess but then me and you really can't rock around because like I like plantain and you don't like plantain no it's, it's not really a vibe but anyways it's getting to me she's, you know, she's actually a cute girl but the fact that she don't like plantain kind of thrown me off a little bit but let's get on to a few more so I probably could deal with that if it was chicken I would have got annoyed I, did, I would have just deleted her she would have been deleted but let's get on to more. do you know what I mean my love language is quality times. Yeah, I spend some quality time, especially if you know, she looks like, you know, absolute star, doesn't she? But yeah, let's get into more of what she's saying. The one thing I'd love to know about you is main or desserts. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think as long as chicken's evolved in the main, as long as chicken's evolved in dessert, then it's both. But I do like my mains and the chicken. Do you know what I mean? Dessert's fine. Do you know what I mean? Like the ice cream and all of that, so no problem there. Apart from all that, she seems like a cool girl. I mean, she looks really cute in the pictures and that. I could deal with her not liking plantain, <laughs> even though at first I was a bit shocked by it. But it's not chicken, so she gets a yes from me. People say, well, obviously, yeah, you should just change your mind. But I'm looking at the bigger picture. If it was chicken you said she didn't like, then there's an issue. But it's just plantain. I don't eat plantain every time, but I do like plantain. But we can we can handle that. But I'll still if she comes around to my end, she knows we're frightened this plant is. She's gonna sit in the room and deal with that. So whatever in it. But yeah. Cool. Um, we'll come to one more and then we'll probably call it time. Vicky, Vicky saying my mantra is life is too short to drink bad wine. But then you, you have to find the best wine you want to drink in it. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, she likes to drink a lot of wine. Cool, whatever in it. Do you know what I mean? I like my mind, my wine sweet. You know, my mind. Uh, I mean, my mind obviously generally can be sweet. But, you know, my mind's kind of mixed with a lot of things, not just sweetness, but you know, pure all that. You know, goodness and random stuff. But anyways, she's 29. She's 59. She's head of state at RMI. She said she won't shut up about Strava. I don't know what that's all about. It's like working out something, some sort of, to see the workout emojis and all that. Don't know, whatever. Typical Sunday. Big walk, pub lunch, and a few drinks in the sun. Cool. I mean, I, I don't like walking too much. I mean, I'd rather bike ride, um, pub lunch, okay, whatever. Drinks in the sun. Yeah, that's always nice, I guess. I mean, if you're not getting sunburned, the sun. So, yeah, that's cool. But apart from all that, Vicky, I'm not really feeling Vicky, so it's going to be enough for me. And apart from all that, we've come to the end of the LinkedIn thing for this week. I'll this episode, I'm not saying this week, because we might be having another one, you know, in, in, in the week coming, which is next week, so whatever. I'm just getting confused. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning into this episode of uh, LinkedIn Ting. If you're feeling this episode, you know what to do below. And obviously, check out the Randy Prison channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Help me get to 50, 50 people, subscribers, I should say. And thank you guys again. And you know what we usually do when we finish? Link out! Link out!